Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today you're joining me for 10 laps around Guapore in Brazil in the newly released Studio 397 F3 cars. This is the USF 17 version. Um, we've got 20 cars on the grid. I'm going to be starting from 12th. I've got the AI set to 115 for skill and 50 for aggression. So it should be pretty challenging. Um, and I haven't taken this off the line yet, so I guess being quite low horsepower though, it should just, um, should just plant it and see how we go. Okay, we're off. Yep. Pretty good start. Might make up a couple of spots before we get to Um, the first corner here at Guapore. I've had to lift off. On the outside, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. And lost a couple of spots because of that. Oh, keep it together as we go into Antonolfi. Okay, get the get the power down. Come on, come on, come on. We are down to 14th. So we're into Tunnel now, on our way out of here, and on our way to uh, Radiador. Sweeping right hander here. A little bit of a touch. Over the rise now and into S, and then down into uh, Victoria. Gonna drop it a cog here. Try and get this inside line if I can. No. Whew. That was not the best first lap. Just got absolutely swamped then. Just don't want to be touched. Very light on rear end here, so if you get tapped, it's uh, pretty easy to spin in this car. And turn off here again. Oh, there where I was, touched again. So 175 brake horsepower car. I think this is um, I think this is probably the nicest sounding one in the pack. This, the Mazda power plant in this. Um, the T318's got the uh, the 280 brake horsepower motor in it, but um, it sounds very flat to me. I also think this is the <laughs> most sprightly car in the pack. The most fun to drive, although I don't seem to be racing very well in it at the moment. There goes the drone overhead. Okay, let's get the spot back. Let's see if we can draft old mate a little bit. Two laps down. Perfect combination of car and track, this one. You can feel the rear starting to slide then. Got more power at the uh, corner than him, but I slid a little bit. Oh, he's not making it easy, that's for sure. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, into Rally Outdoor now. Let's get a good run out of here. There was a three wide going into the start of the S. That wasn't too bad. As you can see, the AI are very competitive in this car. Makes for super fun racing. Like you are on constantly with this car at this track. Go, 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 come on. I think it's the perfect aggression setting for them as well. 50, they're not being silly, but um, they're not making it easy for me, that's for sure. Okay, back up to 12th again. It's also kind of refreshing to be driving an F car without a halo. So you can see where I'm going. Hmm. 
much better sound in this car than the other um, the other ones in the pack, in my opinion. Anyway, well, at least the Mazda cars seem to be. Oh, just caught that. Okay, into Antonov feet. Get the power down. Go, 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 go. Come on. Grab a spot. Can I grab a spot? Oh mate, still next to me. Oh. Over the crest. Oh. I thought I had him then through S. the 105s don't want to move news there oh that was much better run through there come on come on come on come on Oh no, we're caught up, we're caught up. <sighs> oh, this is full on. Come on. We're into the top ten. Drop it there a little bit. Try and guard that inside. Oh, those guys are a fair way ahead. Are we going to be able to catch up? Okay. See if we can put some 105 laps in. Tank Slapper is the leader. Okay, so we're making up some ground. Get that late apex. Yep, cool. Definitely making up some ground now. 105.149, that's pretty good. The one thing I like about these cars too, and should probably go into it, is that the base setup for the first time in a long time with it, oh well, that's not that's not right. The base setup in an open wheeler that I've driven for a long time um, is out of the gate, all of the cars are extremely drivable straight away, but they do respond really, really well to suit to um to to well thought out changes in the um, in the setup um, I was playing around with the T318 yesterday and um, you could you can immediately feel the changes that you uh, the make to the setup are, are actually having a, a positive effect um, so I think that's a positive thing about these cars the guys seem to have or the team at 397 I think they're kind of building on what they did with the Formula E car. I found that the setup there, changes to the setup on that vehicle, really made massive changes. Um, and logical, logical setup change. I know in the past you've kind of been able to come up with some really alien setups by making what seemed to be completely illogical changes to setup. But the, same, the changes that I've made to the Formula E and this car um, are what you'd expect to happen. Um, you, you, see, you see that change actually work on track, so um, I think the guys are doing some great work in those last two releases that they've done. Here's me just babbling on. I need to stop looking at that, and I 
just need to look at that. That was horrible. Getting closer though. Last lap. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it though. We'll see. enough I don't think I'll get a good enough run out of Radiador into S to actually make any difference now unfortunately unless I'll make Borks his run through Vittoria no not gonna happen that was super competitive with those cars set like that well, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and uh, I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.